everybody, welcome to episode 4 of my soccer slash football podcast. And first off, uh, today I want to say feliz cumpleaños to my lovely wife. It's her birthday today, so happy birthday. Okay, in this episode... Uh, I recently viewed and was reminded of, I think it was last um, Euro Cup uh, on ESPN, the the analysts they had were Alexi Lawless, and you might know him from the U.S. national team from back in the day, the big, wild, red-headed guy, and Michael Bollock, who's from Germany. He was a, a panelist along with Alexi and then Bob Lee was, I guess, the moderator guy. Now, on several occasions, and there's videos out there I can post for you guys, but on several occasions, they had sort of arguments and disagreements on certain games that they were talking about. Specifically, they were talking about the England-France game, where I think it was either zero, it ended in a 0-0 tie or a 1-1 tie. And their analysis came down to Alexia applauding saying, great job, England. They held them to a 1-1 tie or or a tie game. Uh, They defended well. They stopped their offense and all this. And he was praising them. And Michael Bollock basically said, that's not soccer. That's not what we want to see as fans. We we don't want... He actually said, we don't want them to park park three buses in front of the goal. That's not the way you play. So basically, England... They were mismatched. They didn't have the skill, the talent to compete with France. So what they did was they put all their men back. They played defense the, the entire game. Uh, a lot of this is called parking, uh, parking the bus, or another phrase is bunkering, bunkering down, bunker ball, whatever you want to call it. And I would agree with Michael Bollock, and he said he wasn't impressed. Alexi Lalas was, was was impressed. He was praising England. And, uh, and I think this goes back to Alexi Lawless and his experience with the U.S. national team. And this sort of goes to the U.S.-Mexico ra- rivalry again. Um, the United States team, like I've said before, is not the greatest in talent, not the greatest in technical skill. So a lot of what they rely on is uh, counterattack. So they'll play defense, they'll, they'll, they'll throw all their men back on defense once they steal the ball. They'll use their speed and skill to run and counterattack and catch the, the, the opposing team off guard and try to score a goal that way. I've talked another way of uh, set pieces where uh, it's a corner kick. You get a corner kick, you get a free kick outside the box. You practice your set pieces because those are rare chances. So in a, in a game like this, and I imagine that it was the same way with England-France, England probably had very few shots on goal, probably four or five or less. France probably had uh, in the teens or maybe even 20 or so. But the score ends the same. Because even though France may have plenty of shots, England pretty much will have all 11 players defending, maybe 10 or 9 players defending, to block those shots, to make those shots go out as corner kicks. And that's the whole purpose, is to defend well, to strategize your defense, stay strong on defense, and then maybe get lucky with a counterattack goal. Uh, this has been done plenty of times. This is probably like in our in our local region, Mexico, U.S. This is the Achilles heel for Mexico when they play the United States many many times. You hear their dos acero. You hear Mex- uh, Mexico has lost their edge against the United States. The United States is the the king of Concacaf, which is this region, and it's precisely because the United States is able to was able to bunker and stop Mexico, frustrate Mexico, and then get a counterattack goal and beat Mexico. That's how that's, this has always happened ever since 2002, up until somewhat now. Now, the reason why I say that is because in this last friendly, the United States didn't necessarily bunker. They controlled well the first half, they, they did their job, they had the attacks. But if you look at the, you could probably say, I've heard people say, I've seen people say, that the U.S. dominated this last game. Now, you can look at the the end of the game stats, and if you 
course, if you notice, the shots on goal, Mexico won. Mexico had maybe 15 to 15 shots on goal to the United States 12. I don't remember the exact numbers. Uh, I think actually those are shots. Shots on goal, on frame. Mexico still was ahead, maybe 8 to 4 or something like that. So, even though you would think by watching the game, U.S. dominated the entire game, even though I think it was just the first half and then Mexico dominated the second half. Uh, in the game in total, the United States um, still came up short with shots on goals and shots uh, on frame. So, and I imagine this is the case with all, uh, with the England-France game, and it's it's the fact that it's pretty much the case with all these teams that bunker and play on defense. And not to say that Mexico is a superpower, because Mexico will bunker, and most teams will bunker if they're ahead and they uh, come towards the end of the game, they need to keep their score and their advantage, they will bunker to to st to keep the advantage and finish off the game. And that's mostly when the, the attacking team needs the goal to tie or to, to catch up. Um, they'll send all their players forward and they'll expose themselves to counterattacks, so oftentimes you'll see the bunkering team take advantage of that. Uh, that happens with Mexico when the U.S. plays. Uh, Mexico's attacking the entire game. This is more common recently when they play in Mexico or Mexico City, Azteca, because Mexico still has the advantage there at home. So the U.S. will stay back, the bunker, and this was recently as this last friendly where Mexico or the U.S. actually won in Mexico. U.S. will stay back, they'll play defense, frustrate the Mexican team. Mexican Mexico um, had plenty of shots that didn't go in, they had plenty of attacking going on, but they didn't score any goals. Towards the end of the game, Mexico started getting frustrated, started sending more and more players forward, probably subbed some attacking players in. Uh, towards the end, the U.S. came back on a counterattack, ran, and scored a, a goal. I think Joe Corona scored the goal uh, on a counterattack. And that's how the U.S. won their first game in, in Mexico in a friendly. So, this is a good example, just a quick discussion on bunker ball, parking the bus, the advantages and the reasons why it happens. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter, Beto underscore ATX. And uh, talk to you guys later.